the frick is it? Oh my goodness! Whoa! Whoa! What's up, guys? It's Toronto Tube, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the last episode, we did the last thing we possibly could do in this game. And in this episode, I'm going to show you the secret technique to going to the future in this game. Oh, you think I'm playing around? Check this out. So I know... Don't you freaking go to the box. So I know I put end in the last episode, which I recorded many days ago. Because I realized... I try to rematch the Elite Four. There's a three-minute episode of me saying, What's up, guys? Let's go fight the Elite Four rematches. And then ending it as soon as I realize they don't let me in. But there's one thing I can do. And I don't want to be spoiled on the internet by it. I want to experience it the same way that Sada got to me. That Area Zero got to me. So check this out. Here is the technique. So... I'm playing Pokemon Scarlet. We're in the Naranya Academy. I heard rumors of some... Some purple pants people that walk around. Check this out. So it's a, it's a very secret technique. What you have to do is... With Koridon, You have to... Be in bird's eye view. You have to go left, left. Then jump. And from here... You have to fall into area zero. And hold your controller upside down. This will blow your mind. What the hell? It was all a dream? I'm in... Purple pa I'm in Uva Academy? Why the frick am I wearing purple pants? I don't but What is this? This ain't my cor- Cyclizer. The beat's still hidden though. Hey yo, I don't believe this. If I go in this school, it better be the same orange crap I'm used to. Why y'all dr- This is a nightmare. Why y'all dress like this? Nah, I gotta see it for myself. I know the look of this place inside out. I've been living here for months as a school student. I'm in a nightmare. I'm in a nightmare. Well, my dudes, we are in the future game. <laughs> we have entered the future game, and I have replayed the majority of this game to this point. I got a save file from my friend where he beat, like, the first few titans, but I did the rest of the gym leaders, the freaking team star stuff all to lead to the don't look at that well <laughs> okay you want to see my team i'll show you in a sec to lead to this moment where if you look everything's complete there's only two things i haven't done and then we're going to area zero in the violet edition and meeting the new pokemon because i still haven't seen them but if you saw the last episode what i saw at the end of the pokedex i saw some freaking uh do you know the mascot of string cheese I saw that as a Pokemon. I don't know what it was, but it looked like it's in the legendary part of the decks. And then I saw Tyranitar. I didn't see what it looked like, but I know that silhouette. So we're gonna meet him in the game. I still don't know what he looks like. The first thing I wanna do is, what the frick is Uva Can What's happening to my, what the frick Namona, don't do this. First thing we're gonna do is, I wanna hear what the Elite Four music and the champion music actually sounds like. So let me just show you. If I do this, oh, I can do that. This is my team. I chose. <laughs> I got Meow Scarada, level 51, called Touch Grass. And then I actually brought these over from Pokemon Scarlet. This is Ball, Power, One, Tongue King, and a Chew. And you'll notice there's one slot missing. Because what should we do with our final slot? Well, let's just let's take a look and see what we've got in the box. Okay. These are a bunch of my Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet. The entire past gang is here. Uh, except... Oh, there he is. Including Tuscus. He, 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 but he's part of my... He's a part of my normal team. Can you just go... Look! Meru! Dungus! Kung Flu! Chonkus! Uh, the Dunsparce didn't make it. But I also brought some pieces of crap guests. One of these... Well, I don't know why I brought Jun Chi and Rogers. I guess I just felt bad for them. These three are the children of a Pietro face up. You don't even look different when you evolve. I'm so pissed off. I had gotten... Now, obviously, I've avoided most spoilers, but I got approximately 1,022 DMs and emails and Instagram DMs <laughs> telling me to walk a 1,000 steps with Cheek Me. I don't think you can all collectively lie together like this. Who in their right mind would do that? I'm an innocent child trying to play this game. You made some random condition in Pokemon. This hurts me. <laughs> this hurts me so much. But since I know now, I want to give you the satisfaction 
of cheek me growing an inch because that's all its evolution is so apparently this is what I, i'm so freaking pissed over this i'm get your f where's it going i hate I have to walk a thousand steps with it. Oh, I, I hate it so much. Yo, if you look at the episodes, I had so much hope for Cheek Me, so much respect. I thought to myself, yo, this is the fourth starter in this game. Nimona used it too. Nimona got in a room. It's like it's the fourth starter. This might even be her signature. Did they have to make it? Look at this pinball falling down the stairs. Did they have to make it such a poo? It's, it's, it, it disgusts me. I don't know if Cheek Me is your favorite Pokemon. But you have to reconsider immediately. You have to reconsider because it doesn't even evolve. Oh my goodness, I'm so pissed. Well, uh, also in my Twitter DMs, uh, someone told me I could do this. Isn't it so weird to see Maridon? See, Maridon, it almost feels like he runs, he, he's smoother. He, oh no, cheek me. I, it, it resets. It resets because cheek me is so stupid. Is there a Pokemon Center? All right. There's a Pokemon Center, right? This is what someone told me to do. And just wait till we get to Finizen. That dude... First off, he gonna evolve and get all these arms. Remember when I saw the evolution in Penny's room? He gonna get all these... What the frick? Okay. Let's... I have to get on this Pokemon Center somehow. I'll do it like this. What the frick? So apparently... If I hop on the Pokemon Center... Get your- get down. And then throw Finizen down there. Why are you up here? Oh my goodness. Oh, Maridon is so cool to use, guys. So if I do this, apparently, Pommy freaks out down there. Yeah. Hey! Now we just- Where did Pommy? Keep moving. What the frick? Does this technique not work? My frick, I've just been lied to, huh? I was told Pommy runs in circles if I do this. You know, I'll just do it legit. Pommy, how are we gonna... I don't want to build this friendship with you. Is this the new friendship method? Is, is friendship out of the game? Is this how you evolve Eevee into Umbreon and Espeon? Because I don't want to. Do you know how much a thousand steps is? I regret... Working this hard just to get a freaking bonus episode out for you guys. You want this? I want to go home too. This is a nightmare. And what the frick is the Uva Academy, bro? Frick. I found the perfect pace. I'm holding the analog just right. I'm just gonna do like 18 laps around the school. It's ridiculous, you know? Like, if it goes in its ball, it resets? Then how is anyone naturally supposed to discover this? It should be a thousand steps in total. So that over many gym leaders, you've built the thousand steps and then just evolves one day. What is this? What is this action replay quote looking evolution method? What? I heard that in other regions? I heard that in other regions only have one champion. It's really cool that Polly has so many. I like that. I like that. They acknowledge it. There's a lot of things that come to mind when I think of a third uh, version for this game. One thing is different clothing options. Like a bunch, even if we have to stick to this purple and uh, orange uniform, like skirts, a bunch of different options, like a freaking hoodie, a uh, varsity jacket. Cloud will be popping up with some cool premium black jacket. Yo, now hold on. Is it my steps or Pommy steps? Because look how small Pommy's legs are. It's not all right. This is torture. No, Pommy! Gonna freaking respawn. Pommy can't, like, take a piss or something to indicate it's been a thousand steps. Hey, look, Pommy, it's you. It's you from, like, three gens ago. How you like it? Why are these guys facing the freaking TM machine? This is a real nightmare. So, Pommy better be the only Pokemon that you, you need to evolve like this. If freaking Char Cadet evolves like this, nah, th that pissed me off. This is a hor this is horrible right here. Unless they actually want it to feel like you've taken your Pokemon for a walk, where you're holding your pace like this and watching them for freaking a thousand steps. Okay, I'm done talking. Like if Pommy can evolve like this, can it have like gigantic thighs? 
like I just built all this muscle from this? Why does it build nothing? There's not a single Pokemon that when it evolves looks as similar as Pommy does to its evolution. Maybe not even Slowpoke to Slowbro. Nothing in the world. I can't, I'm, I'm thinking right now, what is a Pokemon that when it evolves looks more, looks like itself, like Pommy's evolution does? Whoa, it's a dude die, dead. Pommy. Hey, what the frick is this angle? The problem is it's been like eight minutes and I, I feel like I've only done like 400 steps. I don't want to have to restart again. You never been to this part of town, Pommy? Who the frick is that? It's Dora. Dora's gotten a lot bigger. What the frick? Dora! Dora! Pommy! Quick! Why the frick did Dora hear me? Dora. Dora, Dora. Goodness. She's not coming this way. It's Pommy, you're giving me freaking away. What is Dora up to? Dora? Where did she go? Hmm, Pokemon. It's like meat. It's like brain. She's a zombie that wants brains. The freaking muzzle. She could turn around and snuff me. <laughs> I hope she snuffs Pommy. Okay, I feel like I've done enough steps. So there's Pommy. I got no XP candy, so we're gonna take Cheek Me into the Elite Four and evolve it. The other thing is Finizen. Now, Finizen's bum ass. I'm so pissed. To evolve Finizen, let's just let's just get rid of someone. We'll get rid of like Touch Grass. I think everyone has Meow Scarada on their team. Look how strong I made Finizen. So you can see Arvin wants us to meet him at the lab. So we'll see what the dialogue is like when we meet Turo in there. Since it's Arvin's dad. There's some weird things Pokemon does sometimes that I don't know if you want to think about it, but I'll mention it. May and Brendan, depending on what you pick. Norman's son is one and Professor Birch's daughter is the other. But they're completely different people, but their kids look the same depending on who you pick. So it could be a situation like that. Okay, I'm in the union circle. Or it could be an implication that there's like a weird Sada in this game with like no ambition and she leaves. And in the other game, it's the other one. Okay. To evolve freaking Finizen. Man, it's such a cool dolphin. Can I please see the weird one I saw in the memes? Okay. To evolve Finizen, you need a homie. So I called up my homie. Who's myself? Let's switch this for this. Oh, goodness. Oh, now I'm... Don't pay attention to that. Now I'm in the beginning of the game again. How do I do this union circle crap? Union circle. Oh, nearby friends. Friends. Where's the union here? Here we go. Freaking finisins here. Join a group. Five, eight, six, four. Don't join, guys. You need the time machine too. It freaking won't let me. This is a freaking mess. I worked really hard trying to set that up, you know. So you know what? F Finn is in. We focus back on Pommy. So Arvin told me to meet you here. Where are you? Is Arvin supposed to be there? Oh, there he is. Seriously, you beat me here? Alright, bro. Just open it. I want to see the Toro dialogue. Tell me all about it. This is your lab. You used to come play here all the time when you were a kid. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. Saka, he, he dead. I don't have a single memory of him ever even playing with me. Oh. You know, that's freaking effed up. Like, there was a moment where they were a family together, but even still, his research always came first. Anyway, it's open. I almost feel like when Koridon Maridon bites a wild Pokemon and they have to... He has to take it back down to area zero that maybe that's what he always wanted to do. He saw it as an opportunity to go back. Oh goodness, it smells like future in here. Yo, Arvin, bro, can I Airbnb this? Bro, I want to live here. Bro, I want to live here. Bro, bro, I can't even breathe. Arvin, take the keys. Oh, shoot. It's Al Turo, AI Turo. Yeah, it's like a music video. We in an Eminem song? Hey, I need your help. <laughs> I need your help. Okay. Go on. Do you recognize your son? 
So like this mute this theme only works for Sada for me. So he's in the deepest point of Ares here in the great crater of Paldia. Like, can't the robot bleed in earlier? Does it have to wait till she has to, or he has to leave for the robot to bleed in? I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand for the great Professor Toro's great research. It almost sounds like he's being obnoxious, but it's, he's not Toro. That's why he's saying it like that. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm gonna go. What the frick did he just look at me like that? I suppose he did ask. Besides, I'd like to give my dad a piece of my mind. You can't give him nothing. He dug deep underneath. Oh frick, I have to fight him? So check this out. Sada and Turo, they uncovered something. They absolutely uncovered something about the disc Pokemon. We'll see if Turo has any hints. They uncovered something and that's why they, that's partially why I feel like the game killed him off. To show us a bigger mystery later on. I mean, listen, they freaking uh, studied the, t the, the the Terra Crystals completely. She knows it so well that she built the time machine off it, made the Terra ball for us to use it in battle. She knows way too much, or he. It's a bet for a Pokemon. Mastiff is written on it in a kid's handwriting. Are you kidding me? Uh, my boy, I'm going to uh, hopefully not hurt this dog again. Hey! Why the music in this game kill? Hey, nah, this is gonna get me freaking emotional. Wow, I remember. This was the battle that blacked me out a couple times, didn't it? My boss stuff over here. This man is kind of a beast. I can overheat this time though. They even gave Arvin like hair in between Sada and Toro. Am I wrong? He got the... No, I guess Sada and Toro both have dark hair. Damn, man. Okay, I have an idea actually. If Sada and Toro both aren't his parents, like regardless of the game, maybe Sada or Toro are like the same person. In a, if you know what I mean? So a parent either has a daughter or a son. And so, you know... That's why they have such a similar ambition. And that's why Arvin can be both their kids, right? I just don't get how the game goes further back, back to Heat's time period, to really decide the split of the game. So this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titans, huh? I'd say we need at least two more people. Okay, well, I said Nimona last time. Let's say Penny. Penny, the crazy smart hacker girl who was the big boss buying team star. Oh! His dialogue's different. If you uncover it, then talk to him. Hey, I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but when did you go making friends with some shady character like that? <laughs> Damn, you didn't even know. I, only Clavel knows. But well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think you can help. Okay, let's go get Namona now. Where are you running off to? Damn, I swear I could still see him running. In the beginning of the game, there's actually a little bit of a tease because Maridon looks at this door and he's like, bruh, let me in. At the very beginning, before you know their lab and everything's here. And before you knew that Arvin used to live with Karidon or Maridon. We're heading to the Pokemon League. And we're going to pick up Nimona. The last thing we can do is, before we go to the Elite Four, is something that I put in my box from the other game. This sucker down here. Gimigul level 50. Now hold up. I'm gonna put Gimigul on our party and I have 999 Gimigul coin. So what the frick am I supposed to do with this used coin? That's one of the material. What do you do with this coin? Shut up. Why he got a lock symbol? What do you do with this coin? Like, I want to know, does he turn into his roaming form if you do this? Where is he in the Pokedex? Let me check the Pokedex out. Oh my god, Gimigul's at the end of the- Wait a s- Hey! Is this sucker related to you? Nah, it's- No, he's not. He doesn't evolve. 
Unless he evolves into this thing. This is a freaking future Pokemon. It's a what? A future pseudo Wudo? See, there's all the slots for the future Pokemon here. Oh, man. May am I supposed to collect a thousand? I thought 999 is all you could get. All right, in case he somehow evolves into that crap. Because it's right after him in the Pokedex. I will keep him on the party and we'll go beat up the Elite Four and hear the Elite Four's music. Cheek Me will also evolve and level up. So to go to the Pokemon League, the only way I know... Let's go, boy. Let's hear that Elite Four music. What number is he in the Pokedex? Is he number 1,000? Oh, it doesn't tell me. If this is Pokemon number 1,000... <laughs> I have no idea, bro. Okay, Geets. Oh, no. Hello, Demo. Gita, I don't know you of this world. The final test must pass. Gita, you are so weak. Is held here in this building. See, the way Gita sounded, I've said this in my main playthrough, is she sounded like she was twice as strong as the champion. The top champion, what she really is, is just the current holder of the number one slot. That's all she is. She's like half a percent stronger than the number two champion. They hyped her up too much. Not that that's a bad thing, but they could have used the hype they already gave her to make her insane. Are you ready to face Pokemon League champion assessment? Do I ever look right? Uva Academy, thank you for freaking reminding me. Or I would have put Naranya. Don't do it. Do not put that lady in front of me, I swear. Please let it be so... The freaking music. I, <laughs> I forgot this music entirely. Okay, out of my ears. Turn this down. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. Rika, just let me freaking go. Let me go. I said to have a seat. What are you doing? What the frick are you doing? Maybe I don't want to do this. Damn, I slid. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna do this on my first freaking shot. I already know all the answers, okay? It's not gonna be as torturous as the freaking last time. Yeah, I have all eight. How else do you think I could... What the frick is Manzana? This is a third version, right? This is a freaking hint of a third... What is Manzana? I'm gonna freaking ask. What is Manzana? What color is Manzana? Wait, Manzana is apple? Oh my god! Manzana is apples! Pokemon Red Super Red Like Pokemon Maroon Pokemon Scarlet Violet and Maroon Oh no You freaking got me I selected Manzana How'd that happen Rika let me tell you how it happened It's cause your bum ass is Chairman Rose You will let me in again What did you say? You said I have a champion ass? Okay, I can take the champion ass whenever I want. Well, maybe I don't see Gita as a champion. Maybe I don't want it. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna get the champion ass. Okay, just remember, Titar, not Manzana, not Manzana. Uva. Whatever dream this is, it's Uva. What brings me to the Pokemon League? Uh, I came to become a champion. No, no, no. <laughs> I chose Brassius and Bug, man. Just Chairman Rose. I'm very glad I have a champion ass. Would you you can take a look if you want. Can I get any benefits with this champion ass? Can I just m walk through the back door and fight Gita? Tell me I have a champion ass. Okay, so we're about to take on the elite test. I got my doctor's needle. We're winning. Now the, the sound designer for this game said that if the bug persists, which I don't think it's been patched yet, that you can save in front of the Elite Four and restart. And it should stop the music from being looped. So let's do that. Let's do it. Oh, if, it's, if it isn't Manzana. Unana. What the frick? Did you shower today or what? You don't walk that close to me. Oh, 
I didn't get a freaking chance to save. Hey, there ain't no way that I'm about to... Please drop, beat. Please drop. Okay. Damn, there was a whole theme. What is this? Yo, so Don Fan, I don't know what Iron Treads looks like. Though, I did see this on Twitter, it, like a picture of him curled up and sleeping. So I kind of have seen it. That's the only thing I know besides I was shown in the trailers too. Who the frick calling me? Evolve Pummy, Evolve Pummy. Please, please tell me I did a thousand steps. Hey! <gasps> What the frick? That wasn't a thousand steps! Nah, no, no, no. I better not see anyone a fan of this evolution method. This is so I like how they handle E4 in this game still with that music now. Alright. Puppy, what you got that big key for? Your mom said to protect it, don't let intruders in. You you freaking wear it on your sleeve? Damn, that's her purse. She got a key shaped purse. Okay, let's get through these. At least we have Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul didn't level up from that either. Well, we're fighting a steel lady, right? Let's keep the beat drop. Man, <laughs> this is sick. You ain't smushing anyone. I'm the bull. I'm your food. Come, come drink, Copper Raja. Come drink. What a useless punk. People seem to love this Pokemon Tinkaton on the internet. It's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. I right, get an axe in your head. Bro, the whole Elite Four use in this Terrasalize system, it's all from Saturn Turo. What the frick did they discover? They they discovered something. They'll, they have to explore it in the future. They discovered something. We already know there's that disc Pokemon. Two down. It looked like a... It looked like the final evolution of a starter. Hey, you better be turning... You better be turning into your Roman form. There's no way. There's no way that Pokemon is you. There's no way that cheese string... Golden go. Is that the coins? The hell is that? Who is that? What the frick? The man's wearing it like a purse? <laughs> man, I thought this man was a freaking legendary. I thought it was a future Suda Wodo. It's Golden Go. I'm freaking glad. Steel Ghost. Well, with all those coins, yeah. The coin entity. Wow. Are you kidding me? It's not Pseudo Widow. It has a sturdy body made up of stacked coins. Golden Go overwhelms its enemies by firing coin after. Shut up. The man's three feet tall. Wait, wait, wait. What the frick? That's crazy. <laughs> That's outrageous. Even his eyebrows are shaped as rectangles. How do he get that? And like, what? How has he got the the things? Like, what is he losing sleep over? <laughs> Good as gold. <laughs> A body of pure solid gold gives the Pokemon. Full immunity to status... To status moves? Not even status conditions. It's not as slow as I thought. Wait, just... So it can't get freaking charmed? It can't get will-o'-wisp? It can't get... Is it immune to the enemy using king shield? Can it just go right through that? Sucker, I will use you, except I didn't expect this. And 
your only move is Astonishing Tackle. So how do we get Gimme Gold into its roaming form? Maybe never. Maybe it's a Pokemon Gold feature. Well, let's teach a couple moves. I'll give him Shadow Ball. That's it. I'll give him Psychic. Dude just learns it. I'll give him Dazzling Gleam. He is a special attacker. So what? Gimme Ghoul is the new Magikarp? Alright. This is kind of stupid. You can access the PC. Well, Larry would be pretty easy. Now, Larry doesn't try very hard, does he? Switching his types because La Primera told him. He, maybe he's... If he tried, he'd be like one of the strongest trainers. Well, he is. But maybe he would be the strongest trainer. Who knows? He makes it sound so last minute that he chose to use flying types that he should be a, a member of the Elite Four where when you rematch, he keeps using different typings. If they do that, that can indicate that he's like probably the strongest trainer. It's just he doesn't take stuff seriously. Like he Dynamaxed the freaking Flamigo. Terrastalize, what's the difference? This Sword of Ruin Pokemon is insane. Anything it sends out just automatically gets lower defense. Oh shoot, but you're flinched. Well, that's effed up. Well, here's golden go. Oh yeah! What the freak is his movement? Can we see golden go for a sec? Show me golden go. This sucker wants to fight. It's so weird. It's so weird. How are you close combating me? I'm part ghost. What? Am I missing something? What's Flamingo? What the? F the sucker came out for his first battle. Thought he was immune with that ability. Wait. Does Flamingo go through my freaking typing? I'm part ghost. This all makes no sense to me. But he's done. Man looks like a common Donkey Kong enemy. So someone tell me, does that freaking Flamigo go through your... Does it have Scrappy? If it has Scrappy, what the frick? <laughs> what a Pokemon for me to first send out Gomi. Gomi Go. Golem Go. Golden Go. Shut up, stop smiling. You look like you, asshole. I didn't swear, I said hassle. I say two swear words. Heckin' butt. Show me everything you got. I show... Alright, man. You got so many bags on your face. What if Hassel was like... 77 years old. But he just dyed his hair. And that's why the girl called him Grandpa. That's like a... A diss. Yo, yo girl call me Grandpa. Not even Daddy. Yo girl call me Grandpa. What do you do when... A dude pop up like that? That's a super alpha. That's a grand alpha. Very rare. Yo, girl call me grandpa. <laughs> Look how overpowered this ruinous Pokemon is. It kills anything. My tongue looks like I just licked a smurf. What the frick? You can't hate on it. It's quite a badass Elite Four we have in this game. All four of them. Okay, Geets. Give me the deets. The real. The Jeets. Hi. Welcome, Tamil. It gives me great joy that you managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test of the battle against me. The kind of just a bit stronger champion. Damn, how come she get a purple glove and everyone got a black glove? That's like a purple belt above a black belt? Here's the theme. Okay. Please drop. I hope you can defeat and become a champion. Yo, this it's a champion team. Wow. Wait. Hey. What are you, the freaking royal queen? Damn, she was praying there for a real quick sec. Oh, who that? Who, who? Bring that Banjo Man back.
What the frick is this me? Why I feel like I'm fighting a freaking evil Pokemon. Okay, it turned nice again. You can sense the champion in the theme still. Are you freaking actually beating me right now? What's the matter? You're not one to let something so You can't be cussing me off with this theme! I take this personally. What am I fighting right now? Avalog? You will die for that. You will be dead for that. You will be dying. It is me, fish. They found me. Made a whole movie off of me. My name was Nemo, now I'm a true. Please to meet a true. Okay. The Avalog is gone. So... We're not tied. I'm still in the lead, Geats. King Gambit! My dog! Alright, King Gambit. Frick, I want to use Golden Go. But I, I, I... Okay. I really can't. Bring in the Gambit. That is insane. But what is that ability? You see, with an ability like that, how could I not have thought it was a past Pokemon or a legendary? Same thing. A legendary past version of Bishar. Supreme Overload. It, it does like more damage if Pokemon have died? That ability just sounds insane. Sounds like a Necrozma ability. Hey, yo, this music kind of hurts, man. Frick. All these themes have like a little bit of ending to them. You know, your journey has done energy to them. I don't know how these coins even stay on my face. And I, Dita, I don't know why you caught these Pokemon. These Pokemon are poo. Damn careful, you spread my coins everywhere. All right, Golden Go, time to open up that purse. It's a freaking chest. Oh, he's so weak. He's so weak. I get it. You're level freaking 53 or whatever. <laughs> but who put him at the end of the Pokedex? Are you kidding me? The man is at the end of the Pokedex. I am Gastrodon. Bruh, you suck. Alright. Two more Pokemon left. I forget what they are. All I know is she le she ends with a freaking lead Pokemon. Freaking Glimora. What? It's so forgettable. What, what the hell is this team? She should have had Baxcalibur. King Gambit was good. Why did I stay in? Get up! Stay away! Stay away, get up! Sick! Stay- Get up! Good! Don't you freaking come near me, I will sneeze on you! Achoo! Alright, here comes Glamora. My goodness. I like this theme. I give this theme the pass. I like this theme, frick. Oh! Man, I'm so glad I didn't hear this theme, but it would have hurt me. It would have hurt me. Yeah, frick, it would have hurt me. I don't want to. Thank you. I still don't know how I'm going to feel if I see this ending with Turo. I'm telling you, it's going to screw me up. Frick. So, I'll say it. Glamora, right? While I was co covering riddles, Glimora was showing, but under the speculation that the general speculation was that it was a Lilip reaction to the Terra energy. So if Lilip terrestrialized, it turns into this because it has the same eyes as Lilip. So you would think it just sprouted or something. It's it just turned out to be its own Pokemon. See, why is it? It doesn't make sense. It's not even like Glimora is a Pokemon from a previous gen you're using. This is the gen you're introduced, and the way she uses it is at the end. That's like giving me a fork after I finish my meal. That's Glimora. Congrats. Your toxic spikes are set up. What now, Geats? How does it feel to be the beats? 
This is a nice theme here. Geats, guess what? They said I have a champion ass, do you? I guess not. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldi has gained another... Congratulations. Congratulations is right. It's my friends. I'm actually taking my earphones out when I fight Nimona here. I don't want to hear it. Hey, Nimona. Oh, man. I can just tell looking at you. You did it, right? You became a champion. Frick. Especially once you see after how everyone... How she kept fighting weaker. And how people don't give her credit for her strength. She just wants to go all out. Only thing I don't get is why she doesn't go all out against Gita. It's almost like she doesn't want to take the title from Gita or something. Like she totally could. There's no way with that kind of personality that she's weaker than Gita. Or that she's stuck being weaker than Gita, you know? She fight Gita twice, she'll surpass her. If we get a third version, we should have a Gita that pop up after she's combed her hair and she's just all smooth, you know? You see that? So take off the rest of the ones and just leave the front one. That's how she really supposed to look. But man, she on that 2062 style of hair. 20... That's too far away, 2037. Okay, let me go fight Nimona. So here's what I'll do. I'll freaking walk cheek me. And do it again. Oh, another gimme go, huh? Now I have a thousand. No freaking way! When you evolve it, it takes all your coins! You freaking stole him! Oh, it's kind of working. Homies can't find me. All right, now I'm gonna go do whatever I want for like an hour. Make sure you get a thousand. You freaking make sure you get it. Freaking. I don't think I've been so tortured by a freaking Pokemon like this. I must have walked like 900 steps last time. Okay, I've let this sucker run for 20 minutes. If you are doing 50 steps in 60 seconds, then I have a thousand steps. And of course, you're doing more than a step a second. So he's good now. If he, I, this, I've never been, had to do so much for a freaking Pokemon that doesn't even evolve. So, Arvin's story is done. I've already fought Penny off screen. Now it's just Nimona. Oh, shoot. Man. Oh, I forgot how grand this was. Are you ready for a battle between champions? And everyone freaking comes and watches? Hey. Who the hell is that? And out of every single person gathered here. I'm the most excited by a mile. Okay, take the earphones out. Do not listen to her theme. Where are you going, bro? We got a sick battle to watch. Yo, the way Larry walked there, he's the strongest trainer. He's better than freaking Gita. This is my tier list. It go Larry, Jay-Z, Nas, then Biggie. No, Larry, Nimona, then Gita. F Gita. I can't hear anything. Too bad. Wait! Hurt the dunce forces and the, the dunce force! You know how mine said two segments? I think had four segments. That's not the form changer. Nah, nah, I gotta look at the. Frick, I put the earphones on! <laughs> Here he comes! Oh, the freak he's tripping out! I don't know what his problem is. Man doesn't know what he's doing.
Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm a turkey. And I got a big champion ass. Look at the champion. Hey, why are you so frail? You. This is why she's better than Gita, bro. She wants to lose. She's nah, she can beat Gita F out of here. You knocked me flat. I was giving absolutely everything I had. She never did that to Gita. Frick, that's so good for her, man. I'm so happy for her, even if this is just a bunch of pixels. <laughs> F out of here, Gita. Nems, I'm kidnapping you and going to future area zero. Which Poco should I bring up this time? Decision, decisions. See, that's the thing. She didn't fight us with her actual strongest team. All she did was go full out and lose, you know? Because there's no way Quack Squabble is her strongest. All right. I've unlocked all three stories. Okay. We have to go there. We get to see the cutscene. <laughs> Where everyone rides Maridon and goes down. What is this toddler doing in school? So, is the Scarlet Book really here? It is. The Violet Book. But what can you read? The Mysterious Purple Tome. The Great Crater. Okay. Everything is the same, right? Everything is the same so far. Uh, Adventure into Area Zero. Everything is the same. Yup, even that Charmander in the back. Okay. Let's go to... That freaking symbol! I saw the symbol and the angle they saw it from. A cart cartograph. Legends tell that precious stones or wondrous fruits have long slept in Area Zero's depths, protected by some manner of guardian. Okay, so when you got legends like this, it comes from someone who started that story. So we only know history as far as like 3,000 years with Paldia, I think 2,000, but somewhere from before then. People have gone to Area Zero and created that tale. It has some truth to it. The Guardian in here. And it's not freaking Maridon. Even though Maridon's the guard. Oh, Flamigo. Even though Maridon is the... Like, what is that gorilla Pokemon? It can't be a Slack King. Uh, even though Maridon is the... Who the frick knows what I was trying to say? The guard, the protector of Turo's equipment or Sada's. Okay, Pokemon of Area Zero. I want to see them mention something future like... Let's see. Monsters of Area Zero. There it is. Iron Treads. It has resemblance to the Pokemon known as Domphan. Yet it's the differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. Wait! That's not what it's... It, it, that's not what it said for Great Tusk. To say nothing of its treads of iron. Bro, did it say that for Great Tusk? Because if it didn't, then these are like... And cyber... What's the word? Cyborgly enhanced. To the point where they're kind of not the same Pokemon. Unlike the past ones, which are the same Pokemon. This is the same. Like, Coridon is literally the ancestor to Cyclizer. Mysterious plates. Bro, we know nothing about these plates. This is for our third version. During our descent into Arizia, we came across... A buried metal plate inscribed with a strange symbol. We tended to shave off a piece of the plate, but failed to leave even a scratch. Even determining the nature of the metal seems beyond modern science. We know not why the inscription was made. Yo, is this freaking time machine related stuff? It might be. It might be, bro. I freaking hope that Saturn Tour made the time machine reading something. And that they didn't just invent it out of thin air. Look, this is not what it looks like when we go there now. The freaking Arvin parents been messing around. Okay, look at that happy team that made it, man. This is this is like so sick. What the frick? That's a Verizon with some Terrakion Yeezys. What? Nah. Wait, so a, a Pokemon takes heat into a trance. Oh wait, no, 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 this is not that. This is a fantastical sketch. Oh, okay, okay. I went too far, right? So they saw so many past Pokemon in Scarlet that they see 
that they for some reason when they think of Suicune they drop like some ancient form uh, these guys saw a bunch of future Pokemon so they drew up some future form what the frick is that though a fantastical Pokemon drawing as envisioned by our sketch artist it's a vision the compactness and cruelty of the strange Pokemon that dwell in Area Zero's lower reaches tickle the artist's imagination, prompting the sketch of what other species that inhabit these depths might look like. It's fantastical. It's not real. But that thing looks kind of stunning, bro. If that thing go to school, bro, he's a popular kid. So I was right. That Suicune did look like Raikun NT as well. That's in that's insane. But you see, okay, the sketch artist drew it, so it's probably fantastical. If Heath drew it while in a trance, then I would say there's a shot. But it, that's that's so weird that that's in the game. Whoa! I think the future one looks cooler. A phantom memory. Here it is. During our exploration of Area Zero's depths, see, regardless of past or future, this happens. So it's the freaking guardian. The Crystal Guardian. So when they woke him up after, the only memories he had about that time period is speaking with someone in an unfamiliar place. Someone? How could you be speaking of someone? Unless you mistook the Crystal Guardian, uh, if it's real, for a someone because it was just a voice. It sounds like a freaking person. What if they freaking spoke to Sada and Turo? Because there's obviously some paradox here. Sada and Tor bring him out from different time periods, but these guys experience him before Sada and Tor are born. They could have... There could be some time mess up. What the frick? You think Sada took a quick 200-year trip and then went to the ancient past? I'm playing. I'm playing. She didn't because it would have to work for Turo as well. A oh, freaking genius sponsor. Get this sucker out of here. Wait, does it say on Manzana Academy? It does. Uva Academy. Okay, our about the author. He still has Cyclizer. It's the exact same text. Heat, author of the Violet Book. See, Heat, it's not even... Okay, I'll, I'll talk about this theory after. He also wrote the Violet Book. While separated from the research team in the creator's depths, I found a strange entity. It's so weird. It's like not even properly creature-like. It just looks like some weirdness. Now, the crater that fell here was a million years ago. There's no way... There's no way that Pokemon fell here. You know? that That's such a weird... That's such a jump from Eternatus to go from 20,000 years ago to freaking a million? There's no way that Pokemon was the meteor that fell here. But if it was, that whole crater was probably just crystal. So the first humans that came to Paldia probably had like a whole different civilization and like myths and stuff. So uh, she gave me no experience. So Cheekme didn't level up, but Cheekme will level up in Area Zero. I'll make it happen. So let's go get our Area Zero team. You ready? I'm bringing all the past Pokemon that I caught. Sandy Shocks, Roaring Moon, Brute Bonnet. Scream Tail named Scrunchy. Uh, we have uh, Slither Wing. And now there's, I think, seven. There's seven past Pokemon because I also have Tuskus. So I'll just pick, pick uh, Manus instead. Frick, I have to bring Palmy. Look what you do, Palmy. Literally, Palmy ruins everything. That's what I do with Palmy's ball. Bruh, you can't talk to this girl. Is she a ghost? She doesn't blink. I'm scared. I'm going to Area Zero. It's less scary. By the way, I'm just going to be spitballing ideas. It's just really fun to think and figure out what the frick could be going on. Once we know all the answers to this game, you know, third version, DLC, whatever happens, there's nothing. No mysteries left. And if there are mysteries, there are mysteries that you know Game Freak won't answer, you know? Like mysteries of the ghost girl in Pokemon games. That, that crap doesn't get answered. But this is a mystery we can actually speculate. And they... They will reveal this. They must. There's no way... I mean, it works. The disc Pokemon being 
the frick? How do I even get there? The disc Pokemon being not... Oh, that's the freaking entrance right there? The di you look like the freaking uh, ice Pokemon. The disc Pokemon being a mystery like that is a good place to end it off. But they must explain it. Okay. Future world, here we are. Hey, over here. What an episode one, huh? We made it from picking our starter all the way to area zero. What an... What an adventure. This is the zero gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldia. What folks call area zero. So this is like 87 years old. Oh, the way home. <laughs> Frick. I'm so excited to see the future Pokemon, man. Like, it's insane that they said she still didn't try against Gita. It's Penny. I, I turned him on. But she she didn't do it as a hacker. She freaking pushed the button. Okay, because you can't just hack. You need equipment to hack. You can't just come here and hack. No, you didn't! Unless your phone. Unless you're in the future and your phone just got all this tech in it. I hacked into the system control. You know what? I believe you. F it. I believe you. Biometric identification in process. Hello, Tamil. I've been expecting- Who the frick is that? What, this is your daddy? It seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. So, you know, this man is in power saving mode like this. You've gathered formidable allies. Sorry, who are you? Baba. That's my dad. Probably. What? That's Professor Toro? Can't you hack Toro? Just make him do what we want. Um, dad? Please proceed below. So what's that? The freaking robot still has his memories. So they here they're thinking they're not on good terms, but the robot has his memories. I suppose for maximum productivity, maybe things like that are 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 restricted from the robot. So it only really bled in at the end when things are getting kind of crazy emotionally and it couldn't handle it. I wonder if the professor is any good. I I never read that before. Guess we'd better proceed below his. Hey, he's mocking. Toro used to be really famous. Everyone knew who he was. But he hasn't been in the media in like ages. Okay, 10 years. And how would you know you were like 11? I heard of him last when I was a freaking one year old. Let's just say everyone's 18. Like, look at the size of Arvin. Okay. Access granted to lower level. I can't wait to see what people, what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. That girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? I just hope with a character like Nimona, no one breaks her soul, you know? Because when she stops smiling about stuff, she, that, that crap ain't never coming back. Though I guess some people kind of broke her soul, right? Just the people who... Well, the stuff I said earlier. This is even higher than looking up at the top of a lighthouse. This is mad high, bro. Look at the size of this crater. This makes no sense. Haven't they found... Have they found the crater that wiped out the dinosaurs? It's not this big. This is... Uh, like freaking 10 kilometers deep. The crater that wiped out the dinosaur. Like there's one. Oh! The Chekhlobox crater is 180 kilometers in diameter and 12 miles deep. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. This is weird. This would be like the crater that would have wiped out the Megalith Pokemon, but also the site of where we rebirthed the Megalith Pokemon. Kind of weird. Okay, time to see this cutscene. And the adorable Maridon. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's the matter with it? <laughs> Scared of see. Arvin doesn't entirely hate it. Well, no wonder. See, they're, they're kind of giving the crowd more courage. And Penny just trying to die no matter what game you play. Why the frick would you jump off early? Bro, that's my Pokemon throwing arm. Oh, man. Bro, I didn't take him the long way down. <laughs> hey. Okay. I'm ready to hear this music. Who 
Okay, looks the same. Looks the same. It should look the same. Not only was it a crater, but just life just grew around it. Over the million years. And now I'm back here again. Haha, <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. I warned you. Peace. I'm gonna call it quits, you guys. Peace. Everyone, you have to see this. <laughs> I freaking love her. Well, let's go disable the Lux. Braviary's here for Rigajaragaraf. So, frick, for Rigaraf here already? It didn't spawn that quick last time. Is that Pomot? That's Pomo. Okay. Well, we can, uh, we can level up Cheek Me. And hopefully it'll evolve, so we'll beat up some of these Pokemon. So, here's the thing. Here comes the freaking music. Here's the thing. Okay, it'll level up. I was wondering if Heath would be the author of the Violet book as well. Or if that would be some other author. And then in some way, maybe both... Where the frick is he going? That's not how flying works. And that maybe in some way, both games could... Both pasts could have happened at the same time where there are future and past Pokemon. But different groups of people wrote the books. But not Heath, both, both, both of them. So there's just a weird... You look so weird. So there's just a weird paradox in this game. What the frick? Man looks like a ho-oh. There's so much to be explained if they chose to. Just think of the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, but instead of them explaining some new concept, they just they talk more about the main story stuff, you know? Okay, so, so this is the inside of the Great Crater of Paldia, Area Zero. Feels different from just seeing it in textbooks. It's so intense. Like seriously, I caught Pummy in episode like one. And it gives me trouble until the last episode of my journey. Even transcending games. You're kidding me. The frick, man? Are you gonna chase me down here too? Here we go. Shreen. Wait. Oh, come on! It's you first? That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know what that species could be found in the Great Crater. So here's something. This Pokemon is the only thing that can create the TM Terra Blast. And it says it gets nutrients off the walls and stuff. And this is a Pokemon from the crater. You know? Its petals might even be the crystal energy. Maybe that's why they gave it to uh, freaking Gita as their signature, but... Like, evolve it one more time before you make it her signature, man. Frick, man, I need the experience. I have to heal Pommy again. Legit, this Pokemon pisses me off. Thanks, Nems. Slithering wants to learn bulk up? Okay, we'll get rid of Morning Sun. Every Pokemon in my party should have a counterpart. Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please, you have no idea how terrifying Era Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? <laughs> Her freaking face kills me. <laughs> Penny's face. Will the books be different? Nah, the books will be the same. We've determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call something. The inner locking hex. She, she, okay, 100%. She figured something out. She even knows the name of it. So Arvin said every book has the name or that page is, is smudged out. Her literal research name, her research here has the name smudged out. Who did that? Either she did it or he or someone came in here and smudged all the copies and this. Like that's an actual smudge. The interlocking hexagonal place that comprises its shell must somehow cause this phenomenon, which I've dubbed terastalizing. That's freaking insane. <laughs> You're crazy. You're freaking crazy. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research. What a genius. They freaking made a quick invention, got a load of money, and low-key did the rest of their research. Freaking smart, man. Well done. Okay, three more. Arvin's realizing, by the way they're talking, everyone knows people don't talk like this. 
I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Well, you did as a kid. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was going to see my dad. I got about this far when I was attacked by some creature I'd never seen before. Hmm. It wasn't even a Pokemon. More like this crazy, weird, metallic machine thing. You sure it wasn't a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, robot-y than average? Yeah, like it was a completely different creature altogether. Whoa. But he never mentions... I don't ever want to run into that thing again. Wait, so every future Pokemon... Is robotic-like? They never said it like that for the past. They just said it was like really ancient or something. They don't even use the word ancient. They just said like monster, right? Bro, that's kind of curious. I need freaking experience. Please murder these Dawn fans. So the first Pokemon we see here is going to be the Jigglypuff uh, counterpart. Brute Bonnet here. I looked at what a normal... Among Us look like. It don't got those four legs. This thing used to have them legs. It is something with them. Darn, y'all gonna eat the Flabebebez? Here we go. The Metal Jigglypuff. Whatever it is. The second research station. About time to... What is it? It must be cute, right? For Penny to call it cute? Phew. Let's, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, college council girl. Student. Hey, hey, I'm just full of surprises. <laughs> it wasn't a coffin, you know. What the frick is it? Oh my goodness! Whoa! Whoa! The future's effed up? That thing is just a robot! I remember now, future Deli Bird in the rumors. What the frick is that? Hey, look at Deli Bird. It's good to see some nice, familiar po. That thing's not even a freaking like clone. That thing's just a metal Deli Bird. Oh my gosh, so cute. What the hell is that? Deli bird. Yo, future Deli. What's his name? Demo. It's battle time. Its name's gonna be Taba. Taba. What? What? Taba bird. What the frick? What the hell? Yo, Deli bird. A legendary Deli bird. What's his stats? What's its stats? Iron! Iron Bundle? Wait, are they all called Iron? Nah. Nah, they're not all called Iron. You're freaking... You're all... They're all called Iron and they're Steel types? Bro, this is so... Wait, it's part ice. Yo, it's freaking head opened up. Yo, the future is effed up. Like, if Toro sends Master Balls to the future and catches random things, this is the average thing walking around. The future? Nah. Tour, you effed up going to the future. What the? He took his tail off. Tour, you effed up going to the future. The past is so much better. Hey, Iron Bundle. Okay. Look, it's head freaking extended. Okay, I'm getting good experience for this. We'll get Cheek Me. Brute Bond. Like, I gotta level up these past Pokemon. This is what, what I'm gonna have to use. Well, don't learn this. This is what I'm gonna have to use when I'm fighting Toro. I'm gonna do past versus future. And my Pokemon are very underleveled, if I remember. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kinda... Mechanical looking for a Deli Bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more drum scroll than I'm done for. They call it mechanical, literally. These are robots. They are not... They are not cyber... Cy, what's the word? Cybernetically modified? No, they're... They're just robots. 
are they all called Iron Man? They better not be. That's so weird they call him mechanical. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Freaking eavesdropping. Here he goes. He's gonna say he has a time machine. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. So sick. That's such a cool way to word it. They live in a time that doesn't exist yet. So how could you pull them from there? Future Pokemon. What are we playing? 2022 future Pokemon exist. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, well, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. Frick. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working. There it is. Yo, his dad found those same slabs and read how to build the time machine. There's no way he made it from scratch. This is it. This is it. And then they go on to mess up the timeline and cause Heath to see Pokemon in the past. This is it. This is it. Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? Yeah, yo daddy dead. But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It's theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. See, so he fixes the machine differently. Or if it, he made it, they say, right? He makes it in a different way. Well, that's horrifying. Yo, you do not want to go to the future, bro. That's That place sucks. It literally looked like the Squidward future, just metal everywhere. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, my boy. Arvin, I. If possible, I'd like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. They don't even get to properly speak. It all just happens so fast. At last, I can resume work on a terror project. A move? My research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. Unstable? The crystals' powers are tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret, but if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, Paradise will be our screen. So he wrote that after he already invented the prototype Terra Ball, got all the funding. He wants to live in a world where present and future Pokemon can coexist. Nah, bro. Nah, this future sounds horrible. Why the frick is T-Tron from the future? I don't want Iron Belly. What's his name gonna be? Iron... Tyrant. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining stations. Hey, Tamo. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or maybe everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix it. Alright. I'll carry it, bro. Let's see, let's see the smudged handwriting. The book has to a written in clumsy handwriting. A freaking paradox, bro. I'm so glad Game Freak wrote it as a paradox, though. Okay, well, Pomo's almost evolved. Number three. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. That, oh, Penny, is it your worry word? Huh? Ah! Oh! That is, you freak, I feel violated. You put your pants back on. I legit feel violated. You did not have to freaking show me your, like that face is disgusting. Yo, these future Pokemon are messed up. That is not what I thought the freaking Don Fan's face was. CC. Wait a sec, this is just like the title Pokemon we saw. Can I wear tights or something underneath? There's a freaking freezing down here. You know those long underwear? That's not Don Fan! Hello? It's entire. Fa That's. Yo, these future Pokemon aren't modified, they're made from scratch. Like, legit, like the Pokemon all must have gone extinct. What the hell, Cheek Me? The Pokemon must have gone extinct. There must be nothing in the future. Tori gonna go there and it's just crow. No people are alive. Okay, well, 
Unless it's a freaking Terminator future and like robots build robots, I suppose people are alive. What the frick? So they're all iron Pokemon named Iron Treads, Iron. I forget what the Deli Bird was. And they're just steel types? Nah. That is not what I thought the freaking Don Fan Space was. Oh, normal effective. Okay, so ground steel. So in the past, it's ground fighting. Turns ground in the present. In the future, they resurrect it. As a metal clone. Probably not entirely accurate. Okay, Pomo will evolve. Pomo's evolving. It's finally freaking time. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out for the Mystic Arb came down from here. Came from down here. Uh, if we've got things from the literal future roaming around Paldia, that's a major problem. Isn't Toro doing something to keep this under control? I literally left it on for 20 minutes! I'm so tired of this thing! Is it fully evolved or what? Do, why do I even want to evolve it? I already know what it looks like. This is so freaking sad, man. This is just what happens. This is the unsolved mystery of this game. No Pomot. Freaking Iron Bundle. Nah, bro. You're all called Iron. <laughs> this is where it's at, bro. Great Tusk, Scream, Tail, Brute, Bonnet. Bruh. Okay, so Great Tusk counterpart, Iron Tusk. Scream Tail counterpart, Iron Bundle. We got two more. Brute Bonnet and Fluttermane. So you want to see Palmot? There it is. That's Palmot. They look the freaking same. I'm not evolving this anymore. There's probably some weird technicality like it always has to stay out of the ball when I level it up. It's, it's freaking horrible, bro. Give me back my mainness. Now we got the pass team. Legit, that freaking pomo just gave me depression. <laughs> like, I don't even want to play this anymore. Maridon, which I entrusted at Tama, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral pattern, I came to realize that what I discovered was in fact a futuristic form of cyclist with the Pokemon commonly written in the region. It still got blood and stuff to analyze? I guess it's not a freaking made from scratch. But y'all, y'all, y'all mess with these Pokemon too much, bro. There's no way they needed to be turned into freaking cyborgs like this. He freaking saw cyclists in its DNA. That's so cool. Well, that makes sense. I guess they do look alike. Many other Pokemon also come, came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimen of Marido. Oh, you mean there's another one here somewhere? I've successfully brought more and more future Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book. A paradise where we three can live happily together forever. I must make it real. Our time machine research has yielded a triumph. A Pokemon from the distant future. I've named it Maridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. There's Arvin again. I'm trying to think of a way the paradox could work regardless of the game. In Sada's, let's say she pulled Pokemon from the past and some slipped to 200 years ago. That works. And then for Tauros, it also works because you pull a Pokemon from the future, but you accidentally let it slip a bit in the past, 200 years ago. So you know what? That's kind of my theory right now. It's a, it's a weak theory because you would imagine the paradox is more than that. But it's one explanation. Okay, one more left. These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. What the frick? If that other Pokemon really is the only family it has left in the world, it must want to be together again, right? Are you freaking I'm talking about your daddy, kind of? That he want to be with you? So Maradon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. 
Tamo, you've got to let me battle right on right now. That's funny. Like, you have to let me know. The freaking future Pokemon versus the past Pokemon. Why the frick do they F up their faces? Uh, Maridon was just some weird Pokemon my dad had brought home someday. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. My dad made me promise to keep it a secret. And I had to take care of it for him too. Oh my goodness, they're freaking here! But then one day Maridon just went nuts on some wild Pokemon. Who the frick? Oh, it's Penny. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it so the secret was out. Once that happened, my dad took it. Why are they in sync? The hell? Or am I fighting two? I have to dissect this thing. It's steel ice. It must be. This is what I want to know. Coridon summons the sun and all the past Pokemon have protosynthesis. Damn! That looked kind of fire. We have protosynthesis which makes it so our stat goes up in the sun. What would it be for Maridon? I mean, I freaking think rain, but it's not rain, right? What the... what? That don't make no sense. What's a future... What's a counterpart that could work for the future? That's not like freaking hail or something. Did you really not go in the quick ball, man? It's gonna take me so much work to weaken. Giga Drain is super effective. Is it a water type? Damn, bro. Go a bit easy on me. Yo, the way its head comes off like that. I can't figure this out. <laughs> you know what? Just because they said... What is that in the wall? Is that Glamora? Just because they said it's a futuristic form don't mean that they're not... Pretty much cyborgs made from scratch. Like, think about a Kabuto fossil. It feel like they just made a super future version from the DNA they extracted, you know? And especially if this is the counterpart to the ancient past, which is from 10,000 to, I don't know if they're stretching it, but a billion years ago. This ain't from like 100 years in the future. This is from like 10,000 to a million years in the future. So, I don't remember what my point was. Look, it's me, a freaking natural Jigglypuff. You weirdo with your head coming off and crap. Let me dissect you. It's a freaking water type. Yo, resurrected it wrong. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, if it's that far in the future, then you would. Why are you back? Yo. Yo, brother, back. He's freaking. He turned himself off. What the? What is this? What the? These are these are robots. These are robots. These are freaking robots. Darn man, they really are freaking insane to catch. These guys found like a deli bird fossil. Please just go in the ball. Thank you. It's not gonna give me a proper Pokedex, right? Frick, I gotta go read the books for that. This man came in the battle and turned off. It, it resembles- it's ice water. <laughs> also called Paradox. It resembles a mysterious object mentioned in an old book. Look, they call them objects. There are only two reported sightings. What the frick? I wonder what the book said. Okay. I'm from the past. I don't- I don't use these things. Oh, shoot. Okay. If people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my dad or Maridon again after that for ages. Looking back on it now, it seems stupid, but it, I felt like I lost my dad because of Maridon. I, it felt horrible. I hated Maridon and everything about it. I'm sorry for not telling you soon, okay? The levels to this crater. So what happened to our crater? Our dinosaur crater in real life? Is it like covered up by the sea or something? Maybe Sada's down there. Just a random girl in a Flintstones outfit. 
Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. No wonder they dress like that, you know? They super infatuated with that time period. Toro, bro, you gotta change your dream, bro. Go follow your... One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Go follow your girl. Like, the future suck. The professor's waiting down there somewhere, waiting for us. And that's fine, totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves. Let's get to the bottom of this thing. Arvin, go fix that time machine and get, get him out. Alright? Uh, Violet exclusive story. Arvin fixes the time machine, saves Toro from the future, and tosses him to the past. The day I wake up one day and there's news. You know, they tell you there's news at 9am. I'm gonna go ballistics. Okay? Balli what the... Damn, they're so much smaller. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? What the frick is a jugulus? What the frick is this thing doing here? Iron Chunkulus, it's just a freaking normal looking Hydreigon. Okay, we need to talk about this. How do we, how, uh, what, what are we trying to say right here? What, okay, so they're not even all steel, even though the Deli Bird was clearly like metal. They're metallic, but they have proper typing. Yo! Future Hydreigon! Iron Jug- They say go for the jugular. What, does that like your throat or something? He's the iron throat. It's super effective. Maybe you're just pure dark? What the frick have they done to you in the future? This is so weird. Wait, that's crazy. Okay, please, please, make this easy for me. That is just a freaking Hydreigon. It's a Solgaleo looking Hydreigon. Why? That's wild. So when I fight Turo, he's just gonna send out a bunch of iron. I dropped my control. A bunch of iron Pokemon. This is not the same. Play rough was super effective, so it's not steel. I don't know. What does if I were to take away one of Hydreigon's type things, would I take away dry? Hey, yo! This is isn't this a pseudo legendary? So we have three pseudos. We have passed. Salamence, which looks freaking insane. This is what you wish you could be. <laughs> this is what you wish you could be, man. Look at me. I'm literally permanent mega. Oh, I didn't see Delibird's ability. We have freaking past Salamence, future Hydreigon, and future Titar. That's wild. Come on, bro. Are you part flying? Oh, you could be. Because it usually has levitate. It's just especially when after you saw Iron Shreds, you would not have thought a Pokemon to just look the exact same. It's growing on me though. I'm I'm under look, there's another one in the distance. The concept is growing on me. This is possibly just what they look like in the future. For for some reason. But these kind of uh, changes have to be man-made. They have to be. It's possible that Iron... It's Dark Flying. What? What? <laughs> Whoa. An object is... They're... What the frick? They're all described as... As objects. No, no, no. I want to see the ability. 
Frick. Oh my goodness, wait. Frick. Wait, where was he in the Pokedex just now? He's sleeping. I know you don't need to sleep. Yo. This has a this has a different vibe than in Scarlet because these clearly don't belong here. Uh, so Maridon lived here a bit with the professor along with another one of its kind. That seems to be the story. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind. The freaking future ones are all sleeping. I never see no past ones sleeping. Is there anything to Arvin forgetting that he said it was scared of heights? <laughs> Why are they all like sweating? I don't understand this. Wow, so is there only one future Pokemon to meet down here? And then I fight Turo? Yeah, so the vibe here is so different because these things very much so look like from there from the past. With the past Pokemon, it looks like sometimes those those you look like a two segment. They look sometimes like they can belong. Cause I cause they are natural. They're just from the super past. These things very obviously don't belong. So weird. See these Glamora Pokemon, they're gonna be related to the to the the crystal disc looking uh, King K. Rule Pokemon. That's Glamora, right? They don't freaking look like it. So I feel like. I don't know whose counterpart that Hydreigon is. I don't know why we have a third pseudo just tossed in here. You're not telling me this pseudo's counterpart is mischievous. Because Mistrevious is the only one I, I found casually here. But I also never met Delibird casually here. That's so weird. Who the frick is Hydreigon's counterpart? Oh, Volcarona. Slitherwing's counterpart is Hydreigon. Okay. I want to see their ability. What's the Protosynthesis counterpart? Quark Tribe. Oh, Electric Terrain? Yo, that's so weird. It's so man-made. It's so man-made. What the frick? Boost the Pokemon's Quark Drive on Electric Terrain. So damn, Maridon's ability auto summons an Electric Terrain? So Maridon gets a stronger stab. Coridon gets like an extra stab with its fire moves. Is that Diglett? No, Diglett's normal. Are you? What the? Wait. Not that one. Is that freaking Dragapult mechanical? Look at it. Why are you so tall? Nah, bro. You look so... That's not even a dragon. This is where I met Mischievous. Fluttermane. Yeah, why the frick are you here? Weird, bro. It's not a dragon anymore. It's interesting. Wow, I'm glad I found them. I'm glad I'm experiencing them like this. This is fun. This place is messed up. Well, what happened? Look, there's a deli bird sack. It looks like something went berserk in here. Oh! This is where Sidon Toro died. Where's the freaking blood stain? Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Yeah, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. <laughs> Come again? I'm so, so, so sorry. So, 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 so. The crystal seems to be eating into the research station. Well, that's an interesting choice of words. Why do they... 
why do they appear like this? Like, they don't break the ground? I need more people, more time. The woman walked out. Is that Sada, I wonder? Or is Sada and Toro like the same character? Just, you know, born as a girl or born as a boy? That woman walked out not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands, but could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If only there were two of me. You know, okay. This is weird, right? But let's say Sada and Toro are the same, right? What could cause one to be born instead of the other? What if they're this direct descendant of Heat? You know, so when one pathway eventually is the Sen Nisada and another pathway, you know, it's Turo. Also influenced by that great, great, great grandchild that causes the Pokemon to appear there. All right, you made an assistant. Productivity doubled. What's that? We even brought in a second Maridon. Wow. So the Maridon is very recent. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. But how would Arvin come to a theory like that? Has he been has he been aware of him trying to develop that stuff in the past? There was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic theory to get us all jazzed for more adventuring. What that got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even a big time jazzed. <laughs> you need to go see a doctor. That's just not right. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on he knows. He, what the frick? Wait! before there's some sort of plate inscribed as a mysterious symbol what the frick is the symbol look you that's an ancient map of Paldia yo some some hundred thousand year old humans did this there's a freaking map of Paldia they were freaking friends they were drinking tea with this crystal demon down here they had some sort of lost technology if they have this metal that no one knows how to scratch in even recent times and they be car- I never met this but are you okay? I never met this piece of metal here before. So it's still here. Can you guys leave the dog trio alone? Whoa. Freaking future Hydreigon, are you kidding me? Look at them freaking sliding up to me. That's a robot. That's a freaking robot. I mean, I no one's uh, no one's arguing with me, obviously. Who's done this to these Pokemon? It's almost like every freaking Pokemon in the future is like this. It's like no Pokemon could survive. Like the situation in the future got so bad that everyone ended up adapting to that elect electric energy. You know, the electric terrain crap that these Pokemon need. Or get benefited by. So it's like humans modified themselves to survive. And Pokemon, they saved as many Pokemon as they could by turning them into stuff like that. Maybe they even made it to the next level where... Like, the robot features are a part of their biology now. So they can have kids and that's what the Pokemon is now. Did freaking Penny fall? Who's that down there? We've reached the end of our episode. We finally reached the deepest part. We made it. Okay, daddy. Someone's daddy, not mine. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. Since you disabled all four locks, the gates to the Zero Lab should be open. But once you open the gate, you'll quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. Hey, yo, I ain't about to see a bunch of future things. All right, my dudes, I'm gonna call it quits here. Go on and shank that like button. One more episode to go down memory lane. We're gonna fight Toro. Whatever is the equivalent of Brute Bonnet's gonna come running down there. And then we're gonna fight Toro's team. Where he's gonna have a full future Pokemon, including future Titar. And after the next episode, I've officially seen everything in this game. Shank that like button, my dudes. 4K likes. We upload this again. And I will see you all in the finale finale. Hope you guys had fun with this. Take care.